Hello my Sock Universe, if this was me at the beginning of July. It is October now, so you're in for a hell of a story and hell of an unpacking video. Just let's roll it back to July. If you've watched any of my Cop America videos as of late, you will have realized that I'm talking a lot about, you know, I have only a blue Columbia jersey. Well, as of today, I will also own finally a yellow one. And yes, technically I have a yellow one, but it turns out to be a fake. It actually Probably the one that I always wanted to have, the one from the 2014 World Cup, did not work out. I'm selling it at the moment, but hey, so be it. Let's finally unpack my first proper yellow Columbia jersey. As I said, got it off eBay, paid, I think, 30 euros, including shipping. So, very pleased with that one. Let's have a look. Ta-da! It is the one from 2018 World Cup that actually complements this one quite nicely. It is, of course, a fake. I got faked again. This yellow jersey is not a real jersey. And yes, the code checked out. But it turns out that this is one of the most fake jerseys. Or nearly every fake Adidas jersey from 2018 World Cup that I have seen and that I had had exactly the code for this jersey, the original one. So yeah, I should have thought about that and I should have looked a little bit more careful at the pictures as well because there are definitely some telltale signs that when I asked to return this jersey, I made a few pictures to compare these two Columbia jerseys that I have back there, same year and so on. There are, of course, the Adidas logo, a definite giveaway. It is so badly done. There is of course the climbing light logo that rides too high, is way too big. The general stitching and most importantly the crest is just a floppy cloth material. So, so in my case for return the seller comes back, do you accept a partial refund? I said well it depends on how much you want to refund me. He came off with something like 14 or 15 uh, euros. I said, ah, that's way too little. I mean, the jersey has no value to me. I'm not going to sell this one uh, in any case. Well, we agreed then to almost get to 20 euros. I think it was like 18 or 19 euros. I made a little stuff. He wanted to offer me less. And I said, you know, if you give me the value that you suggest, I will have to write a review saying that this was a fake jersey. If you give me a euro more, we had good not doing anything if you give me two euros more which would have then brought it back up to the press i will give you a good review and don't mention the fake jersey needless to say i got the money back but i'm mentioning here now in the video why did i want to get a little bit more money because i wanted to get a replacement for this fake of course and so i went to my pages and lo and behold on vintage football area i found a fake replacement for pretty much the 20 euros so I had to pay just an extra 10 shipping which means that this Columbia jersey uh, that I wanna have now I could keep this one it cost me probably just 40 euros however this one has a flaw let's open this one up I will show you the jersey I will show you the flaw and let's hope this at least is an original because this is now the second yellow Columbia jersey where I got faked. Let's hope third time's the charm. It also feels much better. This is an original, that's for sure. Everything looks good and it's also in my size XL. So I kept this last shot in on purpose because it shows the moment when I realized I got another fake from a website that I've been trusting so far, Vintage Football Area. But I was hoping, yes, it felt better than the other fake. But when I look at it, again, floppy crest, there were other details in there. I returned that jersey within three days. I at least got my money back, including the shipping this time. So all good on them. What's not good for Vintage Football Area, this jersey also had a wrong name set on the back. It is again on the site. Even that I told them, it's a fake. That's not good business. So please be careful there. This is not a website that usually sells good stuff, but I guess they just checked the codes and again, it checks out. Two fakes. So I let it rest for a while, the new season, vacation coming and so on. But then during the last international break, I said, I have to get going again with this Columbia jersey. 
and I scoured the internet. There was a time where I was even considering buying the current one, which I don't really like. My wife even said, go for it. I said, I don't wanna spend a hundred bucks for that one. Found a few in the UK that actually looked quite good. And the problem is, you know, if I had shipped here and shipped back, I might again end up in the same situation as with the one from Poland, where they only give a partial refund and I might be stuck with another fake potentially. So I said, yeah, Andy, can you help? Can you have this sent to you? check it out and if it's all checking out uh, then you send it on to me and he did that and we got a live one until it got stuck in the mail and it's still stuck in the mail it passed customs it was right after the floodings in Austria it has not moved since and the really annoying part is that they want me to start an investigation but only the center can do that and in Great Britain we have to wait 21 business days after the projected arrival date, which puts us towards the end of October. I was positively panicking at that moment. <laughs> and yes, I probably should have waited to make a complete video. However, I panicked. I literally panicked. And you don't do wise decisions when you panic. However, I realized that getting a Columbia home shirt is my bane. Columbia shirts, ever since I got this one, have been just trouble. I got the fake 2014 home, I got two more fakes, and then there was even one that I haven't even mentioned. It was in 2021 when a seller on Wilhaben sold the Columbia away jersey from 2020 for 20 euros and it all checked out. He never sent it, he just cashed in the money. Columbia, not good for me. As I said, I panicked, I went to Adidas and I said, they cannot mess this up. Of course, it's a Columbia home jersey. It will get messed up. So with some trepidation, I'm opening now this parcel. Please let it be finally a Columbia home jersey. I guess I should let you have a first look at this one. And I see it then as well because I see the camera. So here we have return. This looks good. This looks really, really good. I am super pleased. It is out of the bag, taking away the little paper. It's the Centenary home jersey. Let's hang it up and I'll tell you a little bit more about this one. It feels so good to finally have achieved something. Yes. I wanted a yellow one. However, I told you, I do not like the current one, although they were reached the Copa America final. I still have some hope that the one coming from England will eventually arrive. However, the centenary jersey looks just awesome. This is a throwback to the 40s. It's an off-white which I think makes a very good retro styling. It has the Columbia flag across the chest and then the main logos are kind of ghosted out. So you have here the Columbia crest and most importantly and coolest of all the Trefoil logo right here as well which you don't really see. I probably will post a picture here. It's an absolutely awesome shirt, one that I'm really really happy to add to my collection. Yes, I spent the full money for it. I knew that this is gonna be released. So then I went on footy headlines and checked when will it be released, when will it be released. And I saw that on the past Friday in the evening, it got released in the US and it sold out immediately. I would not have bought it from the US. And I said, okay, Saturday, I'm looking out on the Adidas webpage hourly. And then around 10 o'clock, I saw it, immediately bought it. Here it is. And I have to say, Adidas is going to bring out a few century jerseys for the national teams, but also some anniversary jerseys for the club teams. This one for me is easily the best one of them. There's no doubt of my mind. This is just perfect. The way it's done. It is a retro styling. It's done really, really well. Adidas have done an absolute great job with that one. And most importantly, it doesn't use the current template, which I think would ruin this one. So really really happy also the off colors just great so all that needs to happen now is that the other parcel also arrives because this columbia home jersey that i'm waiting for 
is also a super special one. And then I can let Columbia rest. But I also realized I have not a Columbia Centenary home jersey. I don't have one for Austria. I don't have one from Bulgaria. I have the one from the US. I don't even have the one that recently won from Italy. Although this one is way better than what Italy had. Maybe my priorities are not quite right. But I got an awesome jersey out of it. And that I'm really, really happy about. Please. Let me know what you think about this jersey. Keep your fingers crossed. In the German region, we hold our thumbs tight that this other parcel arrives as well, because, you know, it will be another almost 50 euros down the drain, which I really don't want to happen. I will be now happily showing this to my wife and kids that their father can now rest easily. In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel, hit the little bell icon, so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.